Pool life, it's the only life we know. Pool life, when you put it in the hole. Pool life, it's the cowboy show. Pool life, when you get that lucky roll. Welcome back to the channel guys. If you have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I want to try and get as many as I can and keep producing fun, cool videos and get pool on the map. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about the drag shot. It's a shot amateur pool players never play. And I'm not sure why not. Is it because they can't play it? They don't know when to play it? In today's lesson, I'm going to show you some situations on the pool table where all professionals will play the drag shot, and I'm going to explain why we play it. The three of us, we are soldiers, no, no, we never blush. We are soldiers. So I've set a quick situation up here where this is what a lot of amateurs would do. So I'm going to quickly demonstrate. They've got this shot on and they pot it and they go a bit too hard. The eight doesn't go in this pocket and they're stuck. Okay, let me just throw these back up. Also, you can play it with a bit of side, but you're not really going anywhere with it and you're making the shot a lot harder. You could probably try and play for it in the side, but it's just a big no-no. This is where the old drag shot comes in to its own because you're kind of cheating the angle you've got a big angle there the eight doesn't go in that pocket goes in this pocket lovely so we're trying to kill the cue ball so all the pros in this situation they would play the drag shot they wouldn't roll it a lot of amateurs roll the ball but when you roll in the ball you're almost scared of like something crazy happening like a little bit of chalk on the table or the table not being straight. Certainly if you're playing pool rooms, I've grown up in all the pool rooms and the pubs, when you play these tables, you know, they're, they're, they're not straight, the people are sitting on them on the Friday night and Saturday night. So you learn to play the drag shot. It's a very effective shot, and it's a shot all professionals will play. It means you can hit the cue ball positive with more authority, so less chance of the cue ball rolling off, and you can cheat the angle. So in this instance, I'm just going to play the drag shot now and watch the cue ball how I hold it. Just killed it lovely for the eight. I'm going to go into it and really teach you how to hit the cue ball, how to get through it to get this drag shot down to perfection. I've set up a little situation here just to explain. When we're drawing the cue ball back, we're hitting below on the cue ball. So we're trying to draw the cue ball back, we're hitting low, and we're delivering the cue right through the cue, the cue ball. And it comes back. Now, with the drag shot, we're still aiming low, but we can't go through with loads of power. We're not forcing right through the cue ball. What we want is the cue ball to stop the spin before it gets to the object ball. So it's a little bit like this. So just watch me cue, it's kind of a little bit jabby and then the cue ball rolls through. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a load of slow-mos so we can actually physically see the cue ball and the reaction on what it's doing. Here we have our super slow-mo cam and our training ball. Now just look where the cue goes. This is when we're drawing the cue ball back. So the cue pushes right through, which causes the cue ball, there she is, to come flying back. Look at that, that's our lovely training ball just so you can see the spin. Now this is the drag shot, watch where the cue stops. There you see, no way near as far. And this is another angle. Watch the cue ball now, pulling back, pulling back, then it stops, now it starts to roll forward. That is key when playing the drag shot. There you can see the cue ball 
he's still rolling through that's what happens on the drag shot it means you can play the shot more positive I will explain a little bit about that shortly and then back to drawing the cue ball back cue right through and the cue ball you could see was still spinning all the way until the object ball and here she comes here comes the rock all the way back cue that like a dream that is our super slow mo cam now it's time to look at some situations us pros will always play the drag shot we've shown you how to play it any questions email me stick them in the comments i'll always reply not a problem here's a quick situation that i've put up this is what happens if you don't play the drag shot in this situation we've got quite a big angle on the one ball and most amateurs they'll get down they'll either try and roll it because they know they've got a big angle and when you're rolling it it just feels scary did pot it that time but it's a scary shot try and get out the habit of rolling balls it's not a good thing and then because they're scared of rolling it it's easy to hit the cue ball a little bit too hard and not get position on the two. It's critical after potting the one ball here, we leave a nice angle on the two, the blue two, it's on the bottom of the rail to keep our chances alive in running the rack. Practice your drag shot, it comes up a hell of a lot in pool. There we see, nice little drag shot, control the cue ball, lovely angle on the two with a great chance to run the rack. Another little situation for you amateurs to look out for. This is a perfect situation to play another cheeky little drag shot. Again, if we roll this ball in, the cue ball is going to come too far away. You've got to look at where your next balls are. The eight ball doesn't go in this pocket goes in this pocket lovely the seven ball is on the rail so we need to be straight just off straight in that vicinity to make the easy layout if the cue ball comes too far over here we're causing ourselves problems so again this is a tricky little pot goes into a biggish pocket into the side but because of the angle you can often catch near jaw and miss the ball so again if we're rolling it it's a big no-no you're just not hitting the cue ball positive and if we hit it too hard, often you see amateurs do this. And there you see, now I'm left with a tricky positional shot to get on the A and try and finish the rack. Time to play the old cheeky drag shot. And there you see, just held the cue ball lovely, spin the seven up the rail, and run the rack out interesting situation we're on the red three the purple four is the next ball it's vital we get an angle on the purple four because the orange five is all the way up the table this is dead straight a lot of amateurs out there they get down and they do this you pop the ball and they've hit it too hard it's very difficult to roll that ball in and get a nice angle. Usually they hit it too hard and now have no shot on the four ball. Two options, the stun run through. A video will be coming soon about the stun run through. That is very high end stuff, not easy to perfect. Even when you play at a high level, the stun run through can be dangerous for this reason. You forget to get the run through, you stun it, you're now hooked. So this is where the Friday night drag shot comes into its own. Let's have a look at this. Hit the cue ball positive. Cue ball naturally runs through, as we've seen on the training video with the super slow-mo. Runs forward, perfect angle to get on the orange five. There's a few situations where us pros will play the drag shot instead of rolling it and trusting to the table. Guys, make sure you practice this drag shot. It's a very, very important shot in the game of pool. Imagine you're left with this. It's 9-9. It's the World Cup of Pool Final. Your partner 
is Darren Appleton. It's a race to 10. You're playing Holland. Do you pump this in at 100 mile an hour or do you roll it and risk the table rolling off? No, you play the trusty drag shot. You give the pocket a chance, the cue ball won't roll off, and you win the World Cup of Pool. I hope that is going to help you amateurs and pool players around the world to now understand why pros use the drag shot, and hopefully you guys can get the drag shot into your game. 100% it will make you a better pool player. As always, any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'm always here to uh, help you guys. If you've enjoyed this video, please share it, subscribe, like, press the button and all that, carry on. Until next time.